guys we are right into our excel workbook and we are given a list of names but when you check closely you will notice that there is a lot of inconsistencies in this list here some capital letters are getting mixed up inside some of the names some of the names are all through capitalized there is also a lot of unnecessary spaces between words so this means that we are going to do some key transformations to this data set before we make it ready for data analysis to happen and in our first example we shall remove all these unnecessary spaces so how do we do that we start inputting our formula which is equals trim trim of all unnecessary spaces of this name here hit enter and then we can double click and send this one down now that we have successfully removed all the leading and trailing spaces let's move on and convert our text into what is called proper cases with proper cases we mean each single name should start with a capital letter like you can clearly note in this list here we have names we have a couple of names that start with small letters so how do we do that you come back to your column f and start in putting a function which is equals proper open brackets select the text that you'd like to convert close brackets and hit enter on your keyboard you can point on your fill handle here and double click to send the list down or you can simply drag since this is a small list you can simply drag and get all the rest of the rows populating so that's our second transformation step let's move on to our next example in our next example we shall learn how to split text in excel for example you're given a list of names here and all of a sudden you're required to extract first name and last name how do you do that you only have two options to do that you can either use the flash fill feature which is only available for office 2013 and above or you can use the text to columns functionality which is accessed under the data tab on your ribbon so let's go ahead and use the flash fill feature and see what happens so with the flash fill feature you only need to supply excel with a few records and it will read from that pattern and suggest for you all the other records for example i'll start typing godfrey then i also type joffrey so as soon as i do that excel reads from the button and it suggests for me hey did you want to extract the last name if the answer is yes i just go ahead and hit the enter key on my keyboard and everything populates let us try it once more here i just come over here and start typing pirunji i also start type pirunji then on my third record i type and as soon as i do that excel reads from the pattern and it gives me a suggestion of what i actually wanted to extract and once i'm comfortable with the answer i just go ahead and hit the enter key on my keyboard and everything populates alternatively we can use the text to columns functionality how do we do that you just come and highlight your range and after that you go to the ribbon under the data tab you click on text to columns under the data tools text to columns and the convert text to columns with that window will open so you will need to determine the delimiter which character is actually separating these names for our case it is the space that is separating between the names so you just go ahead and say next and then you tick space option and then excel will give you a preview once you are comfortable with the preview you can go ahead and say finish 
and your names will be split and you can go ahead and put new column headers for example first name last name so let's move on with our next example in this example we shall learn how do we convert text strings into uppercases or capital letters only and vice versa so we shall be using the upper and lower functions in excel let's get started we have our names here and we would like to convert them into capital letters all through what do we do we just come here and say equals upper this function only requires one argument you just click on the text close brackets hit enter and your name is converted so let us see how do we again convert capital letters to small letters you just come over here and say equals lower open brackets click the capitalized word close brackets hit enter and there you go all your characters will be small letters so that's how we use the upper and the lower case text functions in Excel. So in our next example, we shall use the len function to count the number of characters in a text string. And in this specific example, we shall count the number of characters for our phone list that we have here. So we all know that uh, a phone number is always 10 digits long. So we are going to use this trick to count how many characters that does this phone number here contain. And any number that returns above or less than 10 digits, that will be a signal that we could be keeping wrong numbers in our list. I tell you, I've been using this trick to clean out a number of lists and I believe it will help you too. So let's get started. I'll come over here and start typing my function equals len it only requires one argument i select the phone number i close brackets and i hit enter then excel will tell me that hey you counted this phone number it's only 10 characters long and i will know that this is a correct number i can go ahead and double click to send this one down and you'll notice that some of them are less some of them have nine characters some of them have more characters like this one for example so you can go ahead and activate your filters if your goal was to detect those ones that are not uh, 10 characters long so you can activate your filters you just point into the data set go to the data tab click on the filter under the sort and filter tools and then you can now filter out all phone numbers that have above or less than when that list is pulled out for you, you can go ahead and update these numbers. So in our next example, we shall learn how to join text strings in Excel together. Like we had previously learned how to split text in Excel using the flash fill and the text columns functions. Let us now see how do we use the concatenate function to join text strings together. For example, we have a list of names here arranged in first name and last name. How do we bring these two texts together? Let us go ahead and do that. We shall come to our column H and start inputting our formula equals concatenate open brackets. We give Excel our first text and then in our final result we would like to have a space in between these names so what do we do we just put double quotes space double quote we say comma and we give excel our next text that we want to join close brackets and hit enter and there you go you get your text combined back and given to you in one single column So guys, in our last example, we shall learn how to use the left function to extract a few characters of text strings in Excel. So basically, there are three functions that are used in Excel to extract specified 
characters of text strings. And for this specific example, we shall learn only one called the left function. But let us see what the left function returns. When you use this uh, function, you will get specified number of characters from the start of a text string. And we shall see that one in action in a few moment. Then there is also another function called mid, which is used to return characters from the mid of a text string, given the starting position and the length. Then the other one is um, the right. So this one returns the specified number of characters from the end of a text string. That's the opposite of the left. So let's get started with our specific example. But before we do that, we have a simple task of uh, creating usernames or passwords or email IDs of a very huge list. I mean, if you have a huge list of names that you have collected and you'd like to create, let's say, unique usernames, passwords or email IDs in just a simple click, we shall do that to demonstrate some of the text functions that we learned how they can be used in our day-to-day -day tasks to get our our work simplified so guys let's get started so i'll come over here and say equals left open brackets i want to come over to this text and instruct excel to only return the first character of that text i close brackets and hit enter so excel will give me the first character of this name here that's how the left function works so i will copy this and remove uh, the formulas so that we can proceed and see how to apply these simple tricks to create for example usernames passwords or email ids so we learned of a formula called concatenate so it's what we are going to use all through here to create unique username passwords or email ids in just a very simple click and all your rows be it millions or thousands will populate in just a a few clicks so let's go ahead and create a username here i just come over here and say equals concatenate i will combine the first letter and in between i will put dot so i will declare that one as text in my formula by opening double quotes i put the, the full stop i close the double quotes i put a comma and then I also put my last name here and I close brackets. So when I double click and send this one down, you will see that um, the rest of the rows are populating and I have my usernames or user IDs. So I can go ahead and copy uh, this one and go ahead and create this user on uh, any system that you may be using that is outside Excel. So let us see again how can we create unique uh, passwords. Let us say equals um, this user ID. Let me first remove formulas out of this column here. I just highlight everything. I say copy. I don't go anywhere. I just come over here to paste and paste as values. I removed the formulas. So I'll come and create my unique password equals uh concatenate let us concatenate these two texts here i will concatenate this one the user name and uh, in between i will add a special character which is at then i can say one two three and then i can close the double quotes and then close brackets hit enter and there you go i have my password then i can just double click and send this one down i think you're getting the idea is that assuming you're working on thousands of rows or millions of rows 
this is how simple uh, this uh, functions could help you. So let us see <coughs> if we are creating email IDs. Uh, I'll come over and say equals concatenate and then I will use the username and in between I will add, I will open double quotes and say at open computers at opencomputers.com I close double quotes and then close brackets, hit enter then I will end up with a unique email ID so that's how you can use these uh, simple tricks to make sure your tasks are